What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, uh, Father Mbaka is still receiving knock up to this moment over the comment he made on Peter Obi that he will never rule Nigeria because he's a stingy man. Now, the latest of those to reply to Father Mbaka is Bianca Ojuku, the wife to the late warlord Ojuku himself. Now, according to Bianca Ojuku, he narrated the experience he had with Peter Obi way back 2009, when Peter Obi was still governor of Anambra State. Now, according to Bianca Ojuku, he said while they were residing in the U.S., he said that Peter Obi had visited them, you know, to give them a message of, of the... Then Ojuku was sick, he was in the U.S., so Peter Obi visited them to give them a message of get well quick. That was what he visited them for. And in that evening of that visit, he was to have a meeting, an event to attend. So, according to Juku, to cut his shadow, to, uh, Bianca Juku said she drove Peter Obi around the U.S. He took her to a shopping, you know, took him out for shopping, and then they saw a suit that was 3900 Peter Obi refused to buy that suit. So, she, she tried, you know... Compelling Peter B to buy this suit, the suit is nice, you have the money, why don't you buy the suit? Peter B refused to buy the suit and instead went for a suit of $220 and bought that suit and while he was leaving back to Nigeria, he gave the remaining balance, he would have used to buy the suit and gave it to Bianca Ojuku, that was $3,000, $3,900. He gave it to Bianca Ojuku and said that Bianca Ojuku to use this money to add to her foundation that's an ngo you know you know bank of she has an ngo so P peter obi gave the money he would have used to satisfy himself to look good and gave the remaining balance to bianca ojuku so bianca ojuku said if this is what is stingy according to her she said if this is what is stingy then nigeria need this kind of person we need people like peter obi you know so that that alone, that alone, people have been coming out to narrate their experience that this man is a man for the job. That this man is not faking his life. He is a billionaire. He has the money. Money is not... The reason why they call Peter B. Stingy Man is that he doesn't give out money for corruption. He's not a corrupt person. He only gives out money to the right people. That's what Bianca Ojuku said. That he doesn't just spend money on frivolities is spend money on the right people so simply put peter b is a man of prudence he manages finance very well i think he's a director of two banks he was a director whether he's still a director of two banks he was a md or is, was he MD or chairman of two banks so you wouldn't expect such a person to spend recklessly he knows how to save so guys uh that is that is why you see the youth are rooting for peter Obi. You that are tired of all this impunity, all these men, they are all the same. They are only just recycling themselves. PDP and APC are different sides of the same coin. They are all birds of the same feather. You see? So, guys, um, Father Baka is still receiving knock. The Catholic have already knocked him. They have disowned him. You know, other people are disowning him. And people are speaking out. You know, you can imagine the feud Father Mbaka has with Peter Obi way three years ago when Peter Obi did not donate money, physical money to him, but rather I told Father Mbaka, show me the church project, I will, I will help the church project. That is the same feud. And he even apologized then. He apologized then, but came back yesterday and said that apology was under duress. He did it under duress that he didn't come from his heart, that it was his bishop that compelled him to apologize to Peter Obi. And you know, after now, Peter Obi has not even responded to him. That's what they say. The best silence to a fool is the best response to a fool is silence. So, guys, what do you think? I want.